Hello coin collectors out there. Welcome back to the Big D Coins channel. Hopefully everyone is having a great day. In today's video we are going to talk about the 1946 Wheat Penny. We'll talk about the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco Mint. Now chances are if you're watching this video you're a subscriber of the Big D channel or you just happen to have a 1946 Wheat Penny and want to get a little bit more information about the coin. Now if you're just tuning in for that purposes and you find this video informative, helpful, maybe a little entertaining, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much and now let's get into today's video. So on top right here, this is actually a Ben Franklin Memorial Souvenir Cent. So the Ben Franklin Memorial is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania and apparently they give out these little tokens these souvenir coins. So we'll talk about that a little bit later in today's video. Now I don't believe I've talked about too many souvenir coins in the video, so uh, that could be a little fun, a little bit different for the, from, for the people who are used to seeing kind of my regular content. Now as you can see, this one right here doesn't have a mint mark on it, indicating that it is from the Philadelphia Mint. Now with 1946, these are wheat pennies, so that intrinsically gives them a little bit more value than your standard Lincoln Memorial. There were also a couple of errors that we'll discuss in today's video. But first I want to start off with the mintages. Uh, the mintages are always a great place to start. That tells us how many were produced and how many were produced uh, is directly correlated to the value of the coin. If there are a lot of them that were made, generally the values aren't as high. Now for 1946 at the Philadelphia Mint, there were just shy of a billion of them that were produced. There are 991 million of these ones right here that were made. Now once we get into the prices from the PCGS price guide, we'll see that the prices really get rare around the mint state 65. So there are a lot of them that were made. Few of them survived at mint state 66, 67, 68. As far as the Denver mint, there are 315 million of them that were made. So that's what we've got right up here with the D mint mark. And then the San Francisco mint mark down here, there are just 198 million. Now the first error coin that we'll talk about in today's video relates to the 1946 S. The 1946S has a documented error in the Cherry Picker's Guide to Rare Die and Variety Coins that is an inverted mint mark. So the variety is identified by its inverted uh, ball serif style mint mark. So the normal position that the uh, flattened ball on the bottom, uh, this rarest of the three mint mark styles found on the 1946S set. So essentially what an inverted S is if you kind of flip it over and then kind of the flat part of the S is on the top and then the more curvy part of the S is on the bottom. Now unfortunately mine happens to be rather worn out right in that exact er area of the coin where I would be looking for that S. So I could take another look under a microscope or a magnifying glass, but I probably won't be able to identify any kind of inverted S's uh, based on just, just the zoom I can get from my camera. Now the Cherry Picker's Guide has a price of that coin at $75 for a Mint State 65 compared to the regular uh, non-error coin, which would have a $10 price guide at a Mint State 65. The other error that's well known for the 1946 is the repunched mint mark, also known as RPMs. Now, interestingly, with the repunched mint mark for the 1946, it's actually a S over D repunched mint mark. So the S mint mark appears on top of the D mint mark. That's kind of the cooler of the uh, repunched mint mark errors that you can find. And as you can imagine, it's worth significantly more than your standard repunched mint mark. A mint state 65 is worth $750. So that is quite a lot. Um, so the underlying D mint mark is evident centered below the primary S. Uh, the vertical bar of the D is visible in the lower opening of the S. So essentially you see both the lines, the vertical lines of the D and the uh, curvy lines of the S on the same mint mark and that will get you, get you the S over D repunched mint mark error. Now as far as the prices for non-error coins goes, unfortunately they aren't going to be worth too much unless you get over that mint state 65 hump. 
Uh, so for a Philadelphia coin, since there were almost a billion of them that were made, a mint state 64, according to the PCGS price guide, has a value of just $2. Mint state 65, though, has a value of $22. Mint state 66, 65, and a mint state 67, $950. As you can imagine, PCGS has graded a ton of them at a mint state 64 and a mint state 65. They've graded over a thousand of them at a mint state 65. So you're kind of taking a big, you're kind of taking a risk if you get your 1946 Philadelphia Mint coin graded by PCGS because you have to pay for them to grade it. Now you have to pay for them to grade it. Um, you got to ship it to them, you got to ship it back, and then you try and sell it yourself and you'll have to pay commissions on that. So it really doesn't start to get profitable until you get into the mint state 66, mint state 67. Now the mint states go on a scale all the way up to 70. So a mint state 66 and 67 is a very, very highly graded coin. Um, PCG PCGS also has a survival estimate on their website, and they've estimated that only 3,000 of the almost a billion coins that were made have survived at a mint state 65 or better. The survival and rarity estimates is one of the cooler parts that I find on the PCGS uh, price guide details. Now let's uh, swing back to this um, souvenir sent right here and you can get a nice zoomed in look at it so that's kind of uh, that will conclude the 1946 section um, the conclusion there is check out for that s over d mint mark or the inverted s and unfortunately unless yours is a mint state 66 or better it's not going to be worth getting it graded or really worth hanging on to that much so we're looking at this cent right here. So we see 1706, 1790, sorry, getting my words confused. It's about the same exact size as a regular cent. However, this is the Ben Franklin Memorial. Now the Ben Franklin Memorial is located in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It became a national memorial in 1972 and it's the primary location memorializing Ben Franklin in the United States. So we've just got a rather cool uh, souvenir scent right here. Now the reverse looks a lot kind of like Monticello with those pillars, but this is actually the Franklin Institute as it says down there at the bottom. We see Ben Franklin Memorial and Souvenir at the top. All right, everyone, I'll try and get some more souvenir scents on the channel. Uh, a few people are interested in them, so uh, thank you for checking out the souvenir scent. Thank you for watching the video on the 1946 wheat pennies as well. Now, if you're still watching at this point, please do subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate all the subscriptions, the comments, the recommendations. That's really the only way that I can make better videos is if people give me feedback on what coins or souvenir scents they want to see and ways that I can improve the uh, video production process of it or more certain areas that you might want more facts on. So thank you very much everyone and best of luck coin collecting out there. Enjoy.